beat me. You gotta let me fix that doorknob, it's ridiculous. Oh, I like it. It's... I like it like that. You like... There's a hole where the doorknob is supposed to be. Come You've on. been sitting here alone, waiting for me. Sam, it's creepy. It's kind of romantic, but it's mostly super creepy. Well, I thought you wanted me to be more spontaneous. I meant like a moonlit picnic on the roof, or... Yeah, well... Flowers. Yes, for the beautiful lady. You got me something for your birthday. Well, it's not till tomorrow, okay? Let's not speak of it. Making me look bad. Well, I am quite the trophy boyfriend, so it's kind of easy to do, you know? True. My prized possession. Handsome, smart, funny, and all my friends want to date you. I do have to dust you off every once in a while, though, but I think you're worth it. Who wants to date me? Shut up. No, I'm, I'm just curious. This is a joke. Yeah, but two? It's just for fun. You care? No, no, I don't. I don't. I forget it. Forget it. I, forget it. I don't care. Forget about it. It's a nice painting. You know, it's tiny, but it's nice. It's soothing. It's calming, really. The purple's pretty aggressive, though. It's, I like your paint. I guess I, I'm gonna put these in water. Is that what you do? Oh, wait, those, those, those. Okay, okay. I'll just... Those flowers don't deserve to breathe in the same air as my beautiful Sunday. Well, they're dead. Um, it's not actually taking in air anymore. Mm -hmm. Can you be like romantic for five seconds? Just for fun. Sorry. <sighs> You're staying? But you don't want me to? No, yeah, I do. Just making sure. Come on. I want to wake up next to my little knucklehead on the day of my birthday. Is that okay? Claire. Huh? <laughs> what about she her? She would totally go out with you. Very funny. There's no way Claire would do Well, me. she's moving in here now that her and Grandma are over, so... Lucky you. Really? Sam, you just got really excited. No, actually, I got disappointed. Because now, like, you know, our sleepover dates are going to be all full of girly, gossipy, raw cookie dough, chick flicks, you know, lipstick, nail polish, cucumbers on the eyes. You guys do that kind of stuff. Claire and I aren't like that. It's chocolate, peanut butter, ice cream, and... Kung Fu movies. Get it right. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, no, Dude, don't do it. It's happening. Just, no, it it's not. Can we not, make it, can we not make it happen? Happy. Uh, no, Happy birthday. Don't do that. No, please. Quiet. Happy. 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 Stop. Happy. Stop it. Happy birthday. Make it stop. You broke up with him. No, I was going to, but I couldn't because he brought me flowers. Smart man, he could sense it. I know, men can smell fear. This theory is continuously being reinforced. They're very similar to dogs, you know. I don't know what to do now. The day before his birthday? That's a poor form Sunday. I figured this way he can start the first day of the new year of the rest of his life on a clean slate. That makes sense. Don't you dare do it today. I've been helping you plan this party for months. I know it's too late now. We will all live in this lie for one more day. Listen to yourself. It's like when your dog dies on Christmas Day and no one will let it go. It's like comes up again every single year before you know it. The Christmas tree is like puppy themed with golden doggy bones. It's ridiculous. Just for the record, I think you guys are really cute together. Do you? I feel like this decision could change the course of the rest of my life. I know. You should just tell me what to do. Uh-uh, I am not falling for that one. What one? This is 
For real. I persuaded you to go to Columbia over RISD, and I never heard the end of it. And I feel like Sam and I kind of look alike, and I always thought that couples that like look like brother and sister they have this extra special connection because it's like when you're looking at the person you actually feel like you're, like you're looking at yourself a little bit Graham just looked like my dad a lot of good that did me Graham was a painfully charming man he could make me blush from across the room god what a nightmare I feel bad I don't I shouldn't be planning my relationship sabotage with you no I want you to I'd rather be here in this cramped little East Village apartment than in that big drafty old castle thing in Bufu, Connecticut. You know, he's going to be sorry. One day, at some point, he'll be sorry for letting the best thing that ever happened to him go. What were we talking about before? Oh, that's right. Falling in love with your brother. That's not what- no- Jack just moved back for his residency. He'll be here tonight. Really? Anyone's better for you than Sam, it's Jack. I taught him well. <sighs> well, your brother is way out of my league, so that's not going to happen. Guys. You know what? I think I need more frosting because this is a mess. I'm gonna go run out. Do you want need anything? This is on the fridge. What? This is really thorough. That's why you keep me around. Jack's back. Ugh. Jack. Sunday. Oh, Look at you. Hi. Here. I would hug you, but let me get that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I missed you, kid. Did you? You said you were going to come with Claire and visit me. Oh. I kept expecting you. Yeah, it would have been really cool to see Yale. Very fancy. Too much for the room, good. I should address you as doctor now, huh? Just the resident. Well, I will still let you operate on me. All right. I'm glad you're here. Tell me what I missed. Oh, well, um, I just, I've been painting. I sold a painting. Writing, and it's good. I heard you broke up with Sam. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> but you have that hot model girlfriend still, right? She is really pretty. Nope, that's over. I'm a free man. Just waiting for the right one. Really? You don't hear attractive men in New York say that unless they're at church or they're over 40. What if I meant it? How do you know? I'll know when I see her. Could even be you someday. <laughs> he is the right one, or...? Me is the wrong one. Hey, babe. Sam. <laughs> hey, uh, what are you doing here? I right came now. To, I came to fix yourself. I took the day off work and I figured, you know, I'd fix it, you know. Hey, man. Jack's here. It's Jack. He's here. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, I see him. What's up, man? Where were you going to go? Oh, I'm going to get some anchors. I got the wrong size. Oh, I'll help you a bit. I'm all set. You don't have to fix my shelf on your birthday. That was a stupid idea. I actually was, I, it was a ploy to get you here at a, I was planning a thing. I was trying to... Like a, like a surprise that? party? What? <laughs> Oops. How do you know? Well, someone wrote Sam's surprise birthday party on a calendar in the fridge. So, kind of figured it out. We're very sneaky in these parts. Mm -hmm. Don't tell this one any secrets. <laughs> but I've never had a surprise birthday party. It's the sweetest thing ever, seriously. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Let me even get beer. One for you. One for me. Easy there, tiger. Mm. You know my biggest fear is though, after all this blows over, it's gonna be me, single, forever. Jack wants to ask you out. Really? I think we do still have a boyfriend. His name is Sam. I think you've met. What happened to living in this lie for one more day? I know, I. I feel like I might have changed my mind. Uh, this is why I stay clear of the minefield that is your head. I know, how do you think I feel? I'm the one stuck in this mind fuck forever. And ever, and ever. This punch is gonna go fast. I did actually tell Sam that you like him, so that happened. You didn't. Yeah. It was bad and I thought, slipped out. Thought maybe I was cushioning the fall. And now I feel really awkward about it. Taking your own grave, girl. I know, I do deserve that. You look really nice, Sunday. I like that mm. dress. Oh, thanks, Jack. Jack, it looks like your cup is empty. I'd like to make a toast. To 
cutting our losses and moving on. <laughs> Very subtle. What's that supposed to mean? And to Sam on his birthday. Where is he? Hey, you know what? Actually, I always wanted to ask you, did your mom make you take me to that dance junior year? Or did you actually really like me back oh. then? Which dance? Don't. It was the prom. And I was just really upset that I didn't have a date. And right. We ended up having a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, yeah. But um, I just wanted to see, like, um, was that your, that, that was your punishment for getting caught in bed with that cheerleader? It's a little early for you to be cut off, my dear. I just, I Jack, don't. did that at least go through in your apartment yet? Sure did. Locked and loaded. You should see his new place. It's really cool. We're back. Surprise. You're great, babe. Just trying to be romantic. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you something because I want to tell you everything. Okay. Well, I'm instantly regretting saying that. Um, something. What? Just to say. So last night I was just like trying to break up with you, but I couldn't because... Because of the flowers? But now I don't think I want to, so... That's why I brought them, because I knew. What? I thought maybe I could, I could fix it or save it or something. Yeah, well we could. Now I realize that like, I can't. 